Hi Virgo, getting ready to do your weekly reading. This is for January 15th through the 21st. This is Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. <clears throat> All right, so I'm asking the universe for specific messages for Virgo this week. What do they need to know? What specific messages for Virgo? What do they need to know this week? Specifically in love. All right. <clears throat> All right, I did have some cards fall out already, so I am going to show them to you. Oh, the Four of Cups is only one. It fell on top of the Five of Cups is sitting up, so I thought that was part of it. But So you will get an offer or something will come in. Let's see what it is. <clears throat> what is the Four of Cups for Virgo? What is the Four of Cups for Virgo? Oh, the hangman's in reverse. So this may be an offer that you want to take. You may have been waiting for this offer. Okay, well, looks like it was something. So some of you may get an offer, information, something's being handed to you, given to you, that you've been waiting for. This will be something that you deserve, something that may help you. Of course, this can have something to do with the law or courts. The hangman is that you're no longer thinking about it. You're no longer waiting. Now you can jump into action. So this is something helpful. This can be not, not necessarily an opportunity for some of you. This could actually be like information that's finally being handed to you is what I'm saying. Um, the Seven of Cups, Six of Wands. So again, this could have been something that you were waiting for. You didn't know how it was going to turn out with the Seven of Cups. You may have felt overwhelmed, but it's going to turn out good, the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is like a victory. He's in a parade. He's happy. So definitely could be something you've been waiting for coming in this week um, that's going to help you get out of that hangman. Because if you're waiting, now it's um, you can move forward. So it could just also be a piece of information. Maybe some of you are going to get um, approved on your loan. <clears throat> All right, so this is for Virgo again, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do they need to know this week? Virgo. Virgo. All right. There you go. Okay, Knight of Coin, he's in reverse, but Temperance is there. So maybe that there's a reason something's not progressing or moving forward. Empress is basically on your mind or the energy around you. The King of Coin is also here, and he's in reverse. But I know that's you, but this could be obviously someone else. Five of Swords is your foundation. Mm. So someone, <clears throat> excuse me, or this could be you. Almost looks like someone's keeping you waiting. Eight of, yeah, someone's not communicating. Knight of Coin can be you or can be something about money. You can also be, of course, the King of Coin, but this can be some type of lack of communication with money, not being able to move forward. Someone may be doing this to you on purpose. Um, this is a love reading, so this could just be something to do with communication with another person, and it's not moving forward, and there's um, and this is like not progressing the way you were hoping. Lovers is in reverse, as well as the Knight of Swords, as well as the Ten of Cups, but you have the Nine of Cups. Well, thank goodness, because underneath the deck is Ten of Swords, because when everything comes out reversed, it makes me want to stop and redo the reading. But this looks like Empress, Nine of Cups, Something may be working in your favor, or maybe this is you, Virgo. Maybe you are protecting yourself. Maybe you have a, a plan up your sleeve or something. Ten of Swords is your card under the deck. So you're not, you may be getting some money or some help in a new job, and so you're not going to put, be putting money or time in, to invest in another a project. You're going to actually let it go because, you guys, something may not be working out the way you want because something better is going to happen. Something better is coming in. Is what I'm seeing here. All right. But let's see. So maybe you're trying to communicate with someone. Maybe this person told you that they loved you in the past. You thought you guys were communicating well. You thought things were going well. Then again, now they're gone. It's, it's not moving forward. If anything, maybe backwards. Yeah, it might be that it's over completely with a Ten of Swords. Or you're not sure yet. You're not sure what's going on you're not sure what they're thinking why they're not communicating where they went what is the knight of coin in reverse for virgo what is the knight of coin 
Knight of coin for Virgo. Yeah, there's that seven of coin. Now it's upright. So it's something you did. You put time into it or just some emotion. You invested something into it. And now you're not sure like if it's going to work out. Is it dead? Temperance. So what is temperance? Temperance. What is temperance for Virgo? Ten of swords. Okay. I just heard you're putting your time and attention into something that's not worth it. That's not working out. It's dead. Okay. So stop putting your focus on this person, on this situation. It's going to vary for all of you. For some of you, this is obviously definitely love. Could be someone new. Could be an ex. Doesn't matter. But they're waiting for you to figure out that this is dead. This is over with. This is also what's under the deck. Ten of Ten of swords. Um, and but I can see that with lovers in reverse, this person's not even a choice at this point. They're not even worth it. But you know what? Look what you end up on. Nine of cups. You're afraid you're not going to be happy. This is your hopes and fears. This might ha be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, the in reverse. So again, this could be going backwards, chaotic energy, this person, who knows, when the Knight of Swords is in reverse, they, they're, you know, all over the place energy or not communicating, again, stalling. There's lack of communication. Okay, what is the Empress? Because this is, the Empress is like the energy around you, I feel. It's also sometimes what's in your th own thoughts. So you may be thinking, well, I deserve better. Why isn't this person talking to me? What is the Empress energy at this time? Empress energy. Seven of Wands. Yeah, sometimes you may be defending yourself. You may be thinking, well, why isn't this person communicating to me? Why did they turn me down? Why are they treating me this way? Um, you may be defending their actions and making excuses for them. Well, they're just busy. Well, you know, they work a lot. Well, you know, they're still married. No. But if not, this is about you walking your own path and defending yourself. You are an empress. You can have, you know, what you want with this energy. So you need to move on and find someone better. What else is with the empress and that seven of wands? I'm going to put another card with them. Empress, seven of wands, please. Oh, I can't feel it. Is that it? Yeah, two of wands. You need to decide which way to go. Which way should they go? Oops. Okay, you're feeling trapped. They drop that out. They're saying you're trapped in your mind. You're trapped on this. You don't have closure with this person or this relationship. You can't seem to let it go. You can't forget about it. You want closure, um, but you you can't. You got to move away from this. What is the King of Coin? What is the King of Coin? Okay, this is this is somebody who could have a third party. This is someone who's dating other people. This is someone who's out having fun while you're feeling like this and you're feeling like this. But in reality, you are this. So this person, and again, this is not you. This is someone else acting, behaving badly. It could be someone at work too. This is no good. This person is not worthy of you. They're in reverse. They could be rude, greedy, um, unloving. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just when I see someone in reverse, that means they're not thinking of you. They got their own things. But again, this is what they're doing. They're having fun. They're out probably dating. Okay. What is the five of swords for Virgo? What is the five of swords? What is the five of swords? This is your foundation. This is what this reading is built on or this week. What is the five of swords? Page of coin. But remember, you can change this. It doesn't have to be this way. Okay, page of coin might be you communicating to them, sending them a message. Okay, what else? What else? I almost lost that. Five of cups. Yeah, they're not talking to you. What else? New beginning. See, again, this could be your energy. This could be them having a new beginning. Somebody is betraying the other person. Somebody doesn't care how they feel. You could be here communicating um, and they're not talking and now you're sad. You're looking at the past. Maybe you started a new beginning with them and then now they moved on. You thought you had a beginning with them. This can also mean that you can have a new beginning but with someone else. You need to protect yourself, Five of Swords. 
in a positive sense. But let's keep going. Eight of Wands in reverse, please, for Virgo. Eight of Wands. Okay, you got the King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups? Who is this King of Cups? Okay, star card. That's someone new. Okay. Who is the lovers? Or what is the lovers? Lovers in reverse for Virgo. What does lovers mean for Virgo? Eight of coin. What is it? Knight of swords in reverse. What is knight of swords in reverse? Broken heart. Okay. What is ten of cups in reverse? Ten of cups. Ace of wands. Okay, and your outcome's nine of cups. So what is this referring to? What is nine of cups? What's happening with the nine of cups card? Ten of cups, upright. What else? Manifest. What else? One more card. We need another card. I don't think we need to, but let me pull one more. Ace of cups. Oh my gosh, we did. Okay. You guys have new love. Plain and simple. This is pretty basic. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Does not need to be, but it's saying this is someone to have the hope in. This is someone you're on the right track with this person, not this one. Okay. There may not be communication with this person yet. This person may not even be in your life for some of you. And again, they may not be a water sign, but that's showing love. It's showing emotion. This person is not open to love. They are closed off completely to love. And in fact, they may be dating two or three other people right now. Um, this could be someone at work for some of you. I'm getting a heavy work vibe. This is a coworker because of the king of coin. Um, this is someone, again, that showed interest in you, and then they don't. And then maybe they do, and then they don't. Um, this is someone who's playing games. The lovers in reverse tells me that they're not even a choice. They're not even on the radar. Don't even look that way. In fact, be busy, work, do your thing, do other things besides worry about what they're doing, that type of energy. Either This is probably how they're viewing you, because this is either how they're viewing you or the energy around you. Someone to me, I just get this chaotic, out of control, don't know where they're going, that is swords energy, because they're heartbroken. This could be how they're viewing you. They think that this is you because maybe you're texting them a lot. Maybe you're, you know, trying to get a hold of them a lot. You're hanging on. This might be how they feel. So then this is kind of energy you don't want to get involved with anyways. This might be an air sign. They may be acting immature because maybe they are brokenhearted. Maybe there's a third party. You're hoping, you're afraid you're going to be unhappy. But you want a new, you want passion, you want a new start, you want a new beginning. This is your hopes and fears. Your outcome is nine of cups. Being happy, manifesting new love. This looks like this person here. Now, are they in your life right now? Maybe, maybe not. Nine of cups is a wish come true. It may not necessarily be this week, but this can come in, all right? So either this person's acting this way, like a player energy, they don't care how you feel, they don't care what they do to you, or you again need to protect yourself, five of swords, and get rid of them. Because this is dead. The temperance card just show that you need, you're waiting to figure out, is this over? Is it ten of swords? Yes. Don't invest your time in this. Don't be stuck in the mud. Nine of coin is backwards. Don't be stuck in the mud looking at this king of coin. Um, who's out partying, having fun with other people while you're sitting there waiting. Is, is this going to pay off? I can't pick it up. Is this going to pay off? Is this person going to come back to me? Are they going to call me? Mm -mm. No. All right, because you have the Empress energy. This is surrounding you. You deserve to be treated better. Um, you're, maybe you're defending their actions. I get that some of you are defending how they're acting, but instead you need to move ahead. Make a decision to move ahead. But again, you get stuck in your mind. You get stuck in your thoughts, Eight of Swords. You can't move ahead. Don't waste this valuable Empress energy that's around you now. Okay? Find new love. Um, there may have been, for some of you, someone who did communicate with you in the past and you kind of blew them off. That could also be Seven of Swords energy, blowing someone off, pushing love away. Rethink that. For some of you, that may have come to mind. Um, someone... What is the Ten of Swords under the deck? Can you please give us more guidance? Can you please give us more guidance about the Ten of Swords under the deck? We understand this is over for Virgo. Yeah, there's that Knight. So definitely some of you are dealing with an air sign, someone who's acting a little erratic. erratic. Um, could be fighting, too, with this kind of energy, or in the past. They come and go quickly. 
One more card, please. Yeah, there seems to be three people, you guys. I think they're going to someone else. There is someone else involved. So if they're not talking to you and you're like, well, is there someone else involved? Yes. Could they be married for some of you? Yes. Um, sometimes I see energy like this when they're afraid you're going to show up at their house and then their wife or girlfriend is going to find out or find a text from you. or So sometimes when they shut it down completely quickly and they actually become mean, um, that's kind of what's going on. There was, there is someone else and they, you know, don't want to be caught. Cause I think you were hoping for a new beginning. This person may even promised you a new beginning. So stop that. Okay. So again, but let's go to the positives. Take your mind off this energy, this relationship that's not moving. Okay. You're wasting time. It's over 10 of swords. I don't mean to be rude, but cause you have Empress energy here. You have Knight of Cups energy. You can manifest something else. You will be happy. Okay. Again, there seems to be some energy around you of a maybe water sign or a king of cups. And maybe where you work, let's put a card here so we can figure this out for you. Like I always say, my videos, eight of coin is where you go during the day, what you do. Shopping, working, gym, um, school. So eight of coin, eight of coin. It's a busy card to me, eight of coin. Communication. Yeah, is there someone you've communicated with recently wherever you go? Someone you bumped into, someone that there was a little spark of interest. They may have been interested in you, but you didn't notice because you were too busy stuck in this energy and defending someone's bad behavior or just pushing love away. So think about that, okay? Maybe you met them out. You bumped into them, maybe a little bit of communication, eight of wands. This is something that has potential to move forward, okay, you guys? So have a great week, Virgo, and I'll talk to you later.